Hey, it's day 25, to check then, day 25 and today is grace and poise. So this is all about bringing grace and poise to your movements, but to your life, you know. If you can do it in your mindful movement, you can do it in everyday things. We're going to start standing and we don't need mats for a moment. Standing nice and tall, shoulders are down. Okay. Feel poised. How do you feel grace and poised? Even if you're having a rubbishy day or something horrible is happening, if you can lift yourself, and I've talked about this before, opening those lower vertebrae, it's impossible to feel depressed if your lower vertebrae are not compressed, if they're lifted, if there's space between them. So really lift up, shoulders down. Notice from your tailbone to the crown of the head, length. Draw your navel in to support it. Get some space under your armpits, so lift up, draw the shoulders back, lift under the arms and now breathe and if you're finding it hard to lift the chest take your thumbs under your armpits even if they're sweaty, lift them up, draw the navel in, stand tall, feel poise and breathe, nice, now keep that lift up, keep that feeling of poise as we step the legs to the side. We're going to take a little sway here. So graceful movements, down and up. So it's all easy to just go through the motions. No, bring something to it. Down, up, down, up. So we are all releasing our inner dancer today. It's there or anything else that makes you feel graceful and poised. You're in an ice skating expert. Be anything. It doesn't have to be dance. Down, up. Down, up, floaty arms. Have integrity through every part of the body. Down, up. Now make it big, but keep your poise and be graceful. Down and up. How do we make things graceful? By keeping them mindful, keeping them mindful and feeling them. Feel each movement. Da -da. If you want music on, go for it. Da -da. Da -da. Down, up. Couple more. Down, up. Down, up, and down. So we're gonna go for a little wall step here. One, two, three, which we did on another day. One, two, three. One, two, three, side, back, front. Keep it gliding. So once you've got the feet, one, two, three, or similar, as long as you're moving, find your lift. Get some air, if you like, under the arms. One, two, three, stretch your legs. Stretch, like you're going over a big puddle. Ballet is all about making hard things, kind of like this, look easy. And that's what we're trying to do. That's the feeling I want you to have today. Swoop the arms across in your own way. One. Doesn't matter which side, you can do them across the body. Little like pommel, or you can take them third to third. Whatever you want, or overhead, I don't mind. Whatever feels good. One, two, three. One, two, three. Open the chest. Stretch your legs. Find some grace. Oh, one, four more for four, side, and three, breathing for two, maybe smile, and one, one, good, lift up, legs nice and wide, pull up through the legs, find some grace as you roll down one side, brush the middle, full body circle here, all the way up, and lift, so it's not heavy, just to give you contrast, this is just going through the motions, breathe it. Dance from your centre, from your navel, from your heart. Brush and up, or move rather, if you don't like the word dance. And brush and side. Lift up and over. Down, side, spotlight moment and uh, over. Brush, side, lift up once more, over. Side, back to our sway. Down, up, down, up. Down, up. What else can you bring to this? Down, up. Imagine you're like a, if you've got a little girl, this will help, but a five-year-old princess girl, when they come to ballet and they do everything over the top with so much grace and poise, they're just dying to be that Disney princess. That's how you want to be. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Back to our wall step. Balance, say. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Three, one, two, three, moving with ease, moving with grace, making it look easy. Yeah, da, da, even if you feel silly, who cares? One, two, three, you're not on YouTube. For four, three, two, and one, 
Step out wide, lift up. Full body circles. Around, brush the floor side and lift other way. Over, brush, lift. Up once more each side. Over, brush, lift. Last one. Over, brush, lift. Nice. Bring the feet to first. Turning up to the top side, squeezing. Full plie or demi plie and just lifting the heels if there's any knee issues. Otherwise, straight down for two, straight up for two. Let's just get the technique. So we're holding our core, sliding straight down the invisible mirror and up for two or the invisible wall. Doesn't have to be a mirror. For two and up. Shoulders are down. Now let's add some grace as we float the arms up. For two and down. For two. It's a strong movement, power like yesterday, but we're adding some poise, some lift, some grace. And a down for two and lift for two. Shoulders down. And by doing this, which is what I find with dance, especially ballet, you're doing all these strong movements and you're gaining all the physical and mental benefits of doing them, but at the same time, you're almost tricking your brain and mind into making it something lighter and easier than it is because of the movements we take with our upper body and our arms and our poise, our posture. One more, down for two and up, nice. Step wide, if you wanna get your mats out for this so it's not slippy, you can. Nice and wide, a bit like a warrior, only both legs are turned out. So we're gonna bend deeply into our left leg, right leg is straight, again, shoulders over hips. Find that lift, that poise. Powerful legs, think yesterday, pressing down. Now let's add some grace. Over for two, we float. Legs don't move. And then the other way, one and two. And again, lengthen through all four sides of the body. And over. It takes a lot of effort and energy to be graceful. Over for two, pushing into both feet up. For two, grounding through the legs. Float for two and over. One more, big as you can, full range of movement. Float across for two and back. For two, lift up. Good, let's change sides. Bending deeply into the right side, pressing open through both legs, drop your tailbone, navel in, lift the chest. Here we go. Over, four, two. Think chest to ceiling, think poised. Breathing as you move with integrity and over for two. Lengthening our muscles. Over, four, two, and lift, four, two. And again, breathing, lengthening through all four sides of your torso. Over, don't worry if you're feeling a little unsteady, totally normal, breathing deep. And over, as big as you can for the last two. Over, for two. Think chest to ceiling as we float back. And over, for two. And back, for two, lifting up. Nice and then take it all the way down. Bring the feet to first, last one standing. We're gonna float up, rise up onto our left leg. Right leg comes to retire and then float down. So we're gonna lift and down. Arms out to the side for balance moment, lift and down. If this is too much, you can skip the rise and just work on the leg lift, or you can hold on to something, but keep your poise. If you're okay with this, we'll add the arms. Graceful and down. Rising up and down. So you have to hold it there, but lift and lower. Lift the chest as you lift the arms and down. Floating up, gliding down. Keep your resistance, keep your poise. For four, lower and up. Three more on each side. Lift, maybe smile and up. Last two, up <laughs> and up. Imagine you're posing at the top. Up and up. Nice work. Okay, let's come down to our mats. In fact, we're going to come to all fours. We're going to take a little flow for wild thing. If any of you do yoga, you'll have done this before. I'm going to move my mat away from the unit. Hope that you can see me. You can. So from here, take down dog. Now we're going to, uh, if you need to watch once, that's fine. I'm a few times. I'm going to take this flow, um, which can be quite static in a lot of classes. So we're going to try and add our own grace, our own poise, our own integrity to it. We start in a V and we lift our leg up. We're going to open that leg, float it all the way down to the floor and then stretch up, lift up, 
from here find strength but find grace as you lift the supporting leg lift the sorry lift one leg straighten your supporting leg lift the other leg up and float back and now the other side we float up bend the leg as you step it down and back open through the front body look up to your fingertips plant your hand down as you lift the left leg up high step it down here we go lifting up a couple of these and stepping over last thing before we chill lifting up float it back stepping down find your way of doing it don't worry too much about the accuracy today enjoy the feelings of moving make it a whole body experience mind body experience lifting up clawing into ten fingers floating down once more on each side here we go lifting up open as you step open the body here in a way that feels lovely and then take it back up for two moving beautifully if it feels good it looks good look up open and step back open the body and then extend the leg up Take it down, pause slowly, come down to the knees, come down to a seated position. Let's find some stillness, really good. So, take your legs to one side, keep the feet quite flexed to protect the knees, and find your lift, your poise, even if both hips aren't on the floor, don't worry. We're just going to take a little sway over towards one side, going both ways to look Murray, up and over to the other side, lifting through the body. Nice, from here, inhale, lift up, twist towards your front leg, but keep that lift, that feeling of poise. Gentle twist, maybe look over towards the back. Bring the head back, and then walk your hands forwards over your front leg on a diagonal. Keeping length, keeping poise, so send your bottom back as you lengthen the chest forwards and breathe deep. Walking back up, think mermaid on a rock as you lift up, 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 bring it back to centre, switching sides gently, be mindful of your knees, keeping the feet nice and active, softening through the hips here, it's a gentle hip opener as well as a little twist, good, lifting up, long spine, shoulders are down, really nice, start to walk the hands over towards your front leg, maybe looking over that back shoulder. Chest up, shoulders down, and keep long. Allow your tailbone to be heavy, even if it's not on the floor. Expanding as you inhale. Softening as you exhale. Allow your hips to soften. Bring it back. And then start to lift up, up, up over that front leg. And then walking forwards. Coming down to the forearms. Soften the head. Breathing into the whole of the torso here. Slowly lifting up, bring the legs back, find any position that you can sit in, feel poised. Palms up today, shoulders down, close your eyes, take your focus to your third eye in between the eyebrows. Notice the lift through the crown of the head as you gaze inwards. Breathing in a really nice golden light through the crown of the head. And just watch that light slowly scan down the whole body, down through the neck, the shoulders, across the chest, down the shoulder blades at the back. Lengthening down past your solar plexus, down the length of the spine into your lower belly, your hips, spreading out to the arms and the fingertips, threading down through the legs, all the way to the toes, and just notice how that lovely warm light feels as you breathe. Allow yourself to be still for one minute, 
bathing in this golden uplifting light. Quietly repeating to yourself, I am graceful, I am poised. If you have longer to sit here, maybe keep visualising the light if that's feeling good for you, then do it otherwise. Big love to you tomorrow for nurture, so it's going to be much more of a still relaxation practice tomorrow. We all deserve that. Lots of love.